Inside this box is my very first CGC Signature Series slab. And there's not a Wonder Woman anywhere on it. We're going to unbox that in today's Comic Book Editions video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for today's unboxing of my very first ever CGC Signature Series slab. I bet I surprised you when I told you that Wonder Woman's nowhere to be found on the slab. Am I surprising you by telling you that the book I'm going to unbox today also holds the record, at least as of now, for the most amount of money that I've ever paid for one individual comic book? And still no Wonder Woman will be found on it. That surprises even me. Before we get started in this unboxing, I do want to take a moment to talk about the Lost Comic Book Challenge, which I launched on the beginning of Labor Day weekend over on Instagram. It certainly has been a huge success and blown my mind and expectations as to how far it's grown. I especially want to thank John's Comics with Kids. I tagged him in my initial post, and because of the popularity of his page on Instagram, that thing really blew up. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, or if you haven't participated yet, there's no deadline to participate. I'd love to see your books. That's the one thing I really love about the Lost Comic Book Challenge. I'm seeing covers of books that I've never seen before. And I love seeing what people have in their collection. And some people have just blown my mind with the books that they have. Um, and everyone's chosen so many great and unique titles to participate on the challenge with. So the Lost Challenge corresponds with the TV show Lost. Do you remember the character Desmond? He always entered these numbers in order to save the world from blowing up every 108 minutes. So with the Lost Comic Book Challenge, you take photos of your comic book collections with issues 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. Those were the numbers that Desmond would enter every 108 minutes. So post the pictures of the covers to those issues and bonus imaginary points to you if you can do it all from one series. And then use the hashtag Lost Comic Book Challenge. That's really important so other people can find your posts that are watching this hashtag. And then tag some people in the fun of it so it continues. It's as simple as that. No deadline to do it. Or maybe should I give you a 108 minute deadline? I should, but I'm not going to. But thank you to everyone who's participated in that. That's been so much fun for me to watch how that's grown. By the way, my Instagram page is uh, The Magic Lasso. You can uh, follow me over there too. And here on my YouTube side, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you'll take this opportunity with this video to do so. It certainly is a great way to show support to the channel. And clicking the notification bell will instantly inform you when new content is added. So we're up to the exciting moment of opening this bad boy. Have you made any guesses what could be inside the box, what comic book it is, and who signed it? I'm going to put you into fast forward mode and rip open this bad boy together. I'm so excited. So we have our slab. There's a bonus tube in here that I was not expecting, and then the invoice just fell on the floor, but that's okay. So let's open up the bonus item that I literally have no idea what this is now. Oh, that's cool. This is a last fan standing mini poster for the uh, Wizard World virtual experience event that was hosted by Bruce Campbell. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice little bonus gift that I was not expecting. Thank you, I appreciate that. Obviously, you could probably tell that I made this order from Wizard World. So, the book that I'm going to show you, I believe came out in 2016, and it was a Wizard World exclusive cover. And like they normally do, they also made um, a smaller ratio variant cover for this that um, I won't call it black and white. It's more um, monotone. And that's the version that I got.
I'm going to tell you ahead of time as well, I'm not 100% in love with this cover, but the price was too good to pass this up. Not only was this on sale, I had a discount promo code as well. So you add those two items together and, and I felt that it was the best I could probably ever get a slab from that's signed by the person that it's signed by. And you know, someday maybe I will upgrade this into a different slab. But right now, I'm happy with what I have. And I will say it does look a lot nicer than the photographs online. As John's Comics with Kids would say, the panties are coming off. Let's show you what I got. Let's look at the book first. How about that? Yeah, I do have to say I like this a lot better in person than I saw the scans of. Of course, scans of slabs are hard to do. But this is Sam Wilson, Captain America, number seven. This is the Comic-Con box edition that was done. And you see it's a 9.8 by CGC, yellow label, meaning that it's part of their signature series. So who exactly signed this bad boy? Take a look. Chris Evans. I'm not even kidding. Chris Evans. He's my favorite actor of all time. And as I said, as I was uh, unwrapping this, you know, maybe this isn't my favorite cover of all time. Although looking at it now in person, I like it a lot better than the scans. It's uh, more colorful than what the scan showed. And while I might not be 100% in love with the cover, I am 100% in love with having a CGC 9.8 Signature Series Chris Evans autograph in my collection. Bam! I am super stoked about this. As you know, I don't have, you know, I don't have a lot of slabs and, and most of the slabs I've had either I've won or um, they've been A-OK. So I've been real fortunate. I've only bought, you know, a handful. And I do mean we could use one hand and have some fingers left over of slabs that I've actually bought. And, but I'm really happy to have this. And um, I'm just stoked. I'm beyond excited. I'm so happy that you're able to share this moment with me. What do you think? Did it surprise you that it was a Chris Evans autograph? Did it surprise you that it's this book? You know, I don't know if I would ever crack this or not, but this would be pretty awesome if the opportunity to get uh, Anthony Mackie's signature ever presented itself to add in with that. That would look pretty sharp. Um, but the heavy part, the heavy part of the lifting and in completing that, if I chose to do that, is done already with Chris, with Chris Evans being already signed on this book. So, stoked. Oh, I was just stoked. I'm so glad you, once I, I know I said this already, but I'm just so glad that you guys are sharing this moment with me here. My very first CGC Signature Series slab of all time, a 9.8 Chris Evans for Sam Wilson, number seven. Actually, it's Captain America Sam Wilson, number seven. Marvel Comics, 516, signed by Chris Evans on June 4th, 2016. Comic-Con box exclusive. Yeah, and it does note that the poly bag was removed on the <laughs> little notation on the um, slab. Awesome. So while I hold this, uh, let me tell you something that's coming up on my channel. Uh, this month is the celebration of Wonder Woman's 80th anniversary. As a matter of fact, there's even a Wonder Woman Day later this month, as designated by DC Comics. So I thought maybe I would... Um, do some special Wonder Woman themed videos about some specific eras of Wonder Woman or some specific variants that are in my collection of Wonder Woman and show those off to you in a special series of videos later this month. So I hope that you'll be on the lookout for those and enjoy those as well. Until then, as we wrap up this comic book editions video, give me a thumbs up. Give Chris Evans a thumbs up. He deserves it. That's America's ass. 
And um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, do you own any CGC Signature Series books? Which ones? Who signed them? Do you own any that are signed by actors or actresses that have portrayed those characters? I'd love to know that. Uh, let's dialogue about those things and more in the comments section below because your comments are always appreciated, encouraged, and welcomed here. Click subscribe if you haven't yet. As I mentioned before, a great way to show support to my channel. I appreciate it. Thumbs up, share this channel, and share this video specifically with someone that you think might enjoy it. I certainly would appreciate it. Thanks for taking the Lost Comic Book Challenge. I'm going to go stare at this baby for the rest of my day, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Okay, I'm adding a P.S. to this video. You know, in my excitement to get to that Chris Evans signed slab, you know, I made the appreciation for this last man standing Bruce Campbell um, mini poster that they sent for the virtual event. And I completely glossed over the fact that it's signed as well. That's cool. Wow, I think I really did good. I uh, wasn't expecting this at all, so I'm stoked. Very, very nice. Okay, PS is over. Thank you again for watching this video. Take care and have an amazing rest of your day.